factors affecting the heat change eh? okay factors affecting is the how much heat release heat change of neutralization reaction is affected by three factors first is affected by the quantities of acid and alkali of course if you use more acid or more alkali you produce more heat this is heat change eh? it's not heat of neutralization eh? heat of neutralization is always the same okay it's only for one mole of water form eh? so it's always the same but heat change it can be uh, large or small okay so the heat change is affected by the quantities of acid and alkali that you use eh? more acid used or more alkali used then you will produce uh, more heat uh, second is affected by the basic cities of acid and alkali eh? basic cities of acid and alkali what is the basic cities of acid and alkali okay tell me uh three types of acid okay three types of acids uh that classify according to the basic city what's the three types of acid classify according to the basic city diprotic okay we have diprotic diprotic monoprotic and triprotic okay triprotic huh? just one example of monoprotic acid yes monoprotic hcl that's correct okay diprotic acid diprotic h2so4 eh? okay okay and triprotic triprotic h3po4 phosphoric acid okay so how do we know is monoprotic diprotic or triprotic we see the number of hydrogens ions eh? hydrogen ions so one hydrogen ion uh, hydrogen ions produced when uh, this acid dissolves in water eh, is monoprotic if there is a uh, uh, two hydrogens diprotic and three hydrogens uh, triprotic uh, so basic city is how much hydrogen ions produce when this acid dissolve in water for example hcl when dissolve in water it will form hydrogen one hydrogen ion and chloride ions uh, this is a uh, monoprotic because it form one hydrogen ion now, if we form two hydrogen ions H2O, uh, then this is diprotic. Uh, this is monoprotic, and this is diprotic. Okay, so that's the difference between a monoprotic, diprotic, and triprotic. How many hydrogen ions produced when one uh, molecule of acid dissolve in water, or how many mole of hydrogen ions produced when one mole of acid molecule dissolve in water? Okay. This one, uh, CH3COH, ethanoic acid. Uh, so this is monoprotic or diprotic or triprotic. This one. Uh, actually, this is a monoprotic. Uh, this is a monoprotic. Okay. Now, why monoprotic? Because when it dissolves in water, only these hydrogens uh, will form our hydrogen ions. Okay. So the other three will still remain in the molecule. COO negative and then plus one hydrogen ions okay so therefore it's monoprotic because it only produced one hydrogen ion so you see we did we do not judge by how many hydrogen in the molecule okay we judge on how many hydrogen ions will form when the acid dissolve in water so the heat change depends on the basic city yeah? okay uh, why because you see if uh, it's, if it's triprotic it will produce more hydrogen ions right and if we produce more hydrogen ions, then more hydrogen ions will react with the alkali to produce water. So if the number of hydrogens increase uh, and uh, if the hydroxide is sufficient, then more water will be produced, right? Okay, triprotic will produce more water because it has more hydrogen ions uh, uh, compared to diprotic and monoprotic. Okay, now if we produce more water molecule, just now we learned that when you produce water molecule, it will release heat. So when it produces more water molecule, it will release more heat. So the that's why the basic cities of acid and alkali can affect the heat change, because uh, monoprotic it will uh, produce less heat because it has less hydrogen ions, uh, and triprotic it will produce more heat because it has more hydrogen ions. Provided that the the number of hydroxides is sufficient, eh? okay. Mm. And the last one is the strength of acid and alkali. Tell me, what does it mean by a strong acid? Let's do some revisions on acid and alkali. Eh? Okay, strong acid is the acid that dissolves in water completely. And a weak acid 
is the acid dissolve uh, partially dissolve in water that's correct okay examples of strong acid hydrochloric acid okay hydrochloric acid now if you have 1000 hydrochloric acid all these hydrochloric acids will form 1000 hydrogen ions and uh, 1000 chloride uh, then this is strong acid eh? okay strong acid why because 100 percent 100 percent of the acids will ionize in water okay in in, in, in the presence of water so 100 percent of these acid will ionize in water to produce hydrogen ion and chloride so this is strong acid eh? okay then how about weak acid weak acid okay uh ethanoic acid okay ethanoic acid uh ch3 coo h eh? okay when it dissolve in water okay now when it dissolve in water let's say we have one thousands okay ethanoic acid when it dissolve in water uh it will form ethanoid ions this is called ethanoid eh? and uh, hydrogen ions okay hydrogen ions eh? but if we have one thousands ethanoic acid eh? okay only a few maybe three three ethanoid ions will form and three hydrogen ions will form okay and then the other 997 uh, ethanoic acid molecule will remain as the molecule okay it does not ionize eh? just three of it ionize initially it has 1000 three of it ionize to form three ethanoid ion and three hydrogen ions so this is weak acid eh? weak acid just partially ionized eh? strong acid 100 percent ionized weak acid partially ionized so the strength of acid and alkali will also affect how much heat release why because you see uh strong acid okay it will produce more hydrogen ions right so it produces more hydrogen ions then it will release more heat and this one uh i will explain to you why eh, when uh, when it, when it involves a weak acid then less heat is released 